Hi everybody, welcome to another video for Crazy About Cricket. Today I am doing a video for the Talk Time Tuesday tip over at Creative Cutter Room. And I wanted to give you a peek at the E2. Um, I did finally get one and I'm still um, learning and so this is an all-inclusive video on it. I just wanted to show um, a quick little cut that I'm going to do and see here if we can kind of go in and give you a peek at the screen here. Um, and so the biggest thing on this is of course this little um, screen and um, that you can see the mat. So now you know exactly where you will cut and it's a lot like having um, the gypsy attached to your expression. So this is the mat and the cuts that I'm doing are actually from the Cosmo Cricut cartridge, just a note. Um, so I'm cutting out a title. And I've already selected the sizes and everything. And let me show you real quick here. Um, if I did want to change the size, you just click on the shape. And then there's a pencil. And if I wanted um, to edit and um, this is, uh, to delete it, and this would be to flip it. And just to show you, I'm going to, to edit the size, I'll click on the pencil. And these are all the different, this is for the size, this is to flip it left or right, up and down, and to rotate it. Um, and then um, once you select what option you're going to do to it, you would click the save button. So this is for the size, and it gives you a little pop-out window. And then... Um, this is, you know, obviously to go up or down in size, and then this is for the paper saver and real dial size. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 1.7, and put that like that, and I'll click the save button so I can get back to my mat. And there you go. Another thing is to, um, I'm used to working on the gypsy a lot, and I'm used to my mat going from... Uh, going horizontal and this actually I first couple times messed up because that you can see the arrow for the top of the mat up there so that's um, main, the main tip I'm pointing for the E2 when you start using is your mat's gonna go this way instead of this way if you're a gypsy user so that's how that goes and then um, one of the big things was these um, paper, or I'm sorry, mat guides that go in, so you're just able to slide it right under there, and then we're going to go up here and go to the cut menu. There's all kinds of options and things that you can save, and um, this is the speed, pressure, and multi-cut that it has on there, um, and I haven't even played with all the options on here, so it's it's just really cool to be able to have all these options right on the machine. I'm going to go ahead and click cut again, and let's load the mat. So it pulled it right in, and let me turn my main light off. As so you can see that this is another feature, um, is the light that so it can show you exactly what um, you can see where the blades cutting and things like that um, you can have there's different options you can select for it and I put mine to only when I'm cutting so I'm going to go ahead and click the um, cut right there and it says please make sure you have the following tool in your machine and set to the proper setting so I've done that and it's going to go ahead and cut pretty um, it's just nice to be able to kind of see where you're cutting um, if you don't have the light or it's obviously not that life changing <laughs> but it is just a nice little perk to have so there you go that is my talk time Tuesday tip and don't forget to come back and uh, check out um, all the other things that Kathy has going on for her blog we are taking over um, a couple of her design team members are taking over this week, so that's, um, we are helping her post this week so you guys don't miss any Creative Cutter Room during the week. And there it's still going to the next cut. Okay, so thank you so much for uh, joining me, and I'll see you later. Bye.